Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about default arguments function. So, what is meant by default arguments function? So, see here within a function definition, suppose for example, def f1, this is my function. Here what you will do, you will pass some parameters, right? So, these parameters are nothing but, these parameters are nothing but these are input to this function, right? So, these parameters are formal parameters which are input to this function. This is my function definition. Suppose for example, here I am going to print the values of this 3, a, b, c, okay? So, these are inputs to this function. Suppose within the function definition, if you initialize some of the arguments, if you initialize, what is meant by initialization? You, if you specify the value like this, it is called as initialization, okay? So, if you initialize some of the values, okay, using default values, some, if you initialize arguments, some of the arguments using default values, then it is called as a default arguments function. Within the function definition, okay, if you initialize some of the arguments, if you want to initialize all the arguments that is allowed or at least if you initialize some of the arguments using default values, okay. So, those are called as default argument functions. So, here in this 3, this is said to be a default argument, okay. And uh, these two are said to be non-default arguments. These three, these two are said to be non-default arguments because uh, we have not initialized those arguments. Here only C is initialized with 30. Okay, initialization means nothing but if you provide the value, if you assign some value to that variable, to that argument. Okay, so where it has to take place? Within the function definition, not in the function call. Within the function definition, if you initialize some of the arguments using default values, then that function is called as a default argument function. Okay. So, see here this is my function and here now I am making a function called f1 of 10 comma 20. Here as I have here see here, here in this function definition I have three variables, but here in the function call I am just passing two variables because the third variable it is a default argument variable, it is a default argument, right? So, no need to pass because the value is already assigned. So, for that variable, I am not going to provide any value to the fun uh, in this function call, okay? So, here see 10 is a is assigned with a 10 and b is assigned with a 20. So, here in the output, what you will get a 10, 20 and c, here c takes the value of 30. So, this is my output. So, here passage of this third value. I am not passing the value, but uh, is it allowed to pass the value? Yes. Here I can pass uh, the value for the third argument also. It is allowed. You won't get any error message. Okay. If you pass, what happens? Here C is initialized with 30, right? Now C that 30 will be overwritten with this 50. So here I will get the output as 50 now. Okay, so here for this, here I have initialized a, a integer data type. Okay, you may get a doubt. Can I initialize some other data types? Okay, can I pass some other data types in the function call? That means see here. Instead of this, here can I pass like this f1 of 10 comma 2.5 comma some hello string like this? Is it allowed? Is it allowed? Yes. Okay. So, now what happens? A is assigned with a 10, B is assigned with a 2.5 and C value, this value. So, what happens? This value is overwritten with a new value, right? Now, C is 
the output for C is hello. So, you can pass different data types within the function call that is also allowed. So, the first scenario is you can pass only these two values within the function call like this f1 of 10 comma 20. Second scenario is f1 of for, th for 3 variables you can pass, you can pass the values. So, what happens this value will be replaced with this value right. Similarly, you can pass a different data types this is the third scenario ok and uh, here itself you can uh, initialize all the values like a equal to 10, b equal to 20 like that ok within the function definition you can initialize all the arguments as default values. So, here within the function call I can just call like this without passing any arguments then you will then what happens all default arguments are there within my function definition. So, those values will be printed on the output screen 10 comma 20 comma 30. So, within the function call here I am not passing any arguments. So, here you have to remember one important point ok. So, what is that point means a non default argument a non default argument cannot be followed by default argument ok. A non default argument cannot be followed by default argument this is the point you have to remember. So, what is the meaning of that see here def f1 of see here a b equal to 10 c. Suppose if you consider this scenario a and c these two are non default arguments right. So, here b is a default argument because that value is initialized. So, a non default argument this is a non default argument it should not be followed by a default argument ok. A non default argument should not be followed by a default argument ok. Why it is not uh, accepted because uh, it can it uh, makes uh, some ambiguous situations to the python interpreter ok. So, that is why this is not allowed in the default arguments function. So, what is that a non default argument this is a non default argument because it is not initialized right cannot be followed by a default argument this is default argument this is non default argument this value should not be followed by this ok that is not acceptable. If you write like this you will get some error message it because it is not acceptable ok. So, this is about the defaults argument function. The use of default function arguments is it will defaultly use these values use these default values if no values are passed explicitly through the function call. Now, let us execute a program on default arguments function. So, go to python idle. open a new file. So, here I am defining a function f1 ok. Here I am passing 3 variables in which one variable is initialized ok. So, here now as it is a function here you have to use colon ok. So, just now I am printing the values of a comma b comma c ok. So, outside I am making a function call f1 of 10 comma 25 ok. So, save this program now run the program. So, see here 10 25 30 is the output ok. So, next here if I pass c variable also some 50 ok. Now, if you run the code see what happens. So, see here that 13 is now replaced with 50 ok. This value is replaced with the new value. Suppose here if I pass different data types 
floating data type and some string data type ok this is also a load so now see what happens see 10 a value is 10 b value is this value 2.2 and c 30 value is replaced with this string data type ok and next so see here if I initialize this value, so see in this example, these two are non-default arguments and this is default argument, right? So suppose uh, if I initialize all these values, b equal to 20 and a is equal to some 10, okay, like this, okay? So here in the function call, I am not passing any arguments, just without any, without any arguments, I am making a function call. So then see. So, these values are printed on the output screen. That means all the values are default arguments here within the function definition. All the values are initialized. All the arguments are initialized by default values, right? So, this is completely a default argument function, okay? So, that is about the default arguments function. Thank you.